Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here on the shores of Lake Ontario, actually on our break wall, with uh, OHS uh, alumni of 1987, Patrick Salisbury, who now lives out in California. We're going to be wiring up some fireworks with the Grucci Fireworks team. And uh, we're wiring up these strobes, tiny little things that light up. I'm going to wire these in series, and so Patrick and I are going to explain to you what series circuits are. You'd think that with the fireworks that you'd actually want to have, if some fail, then uh, the, at least the others would go off. But with this specific effect, it looks good if they're all in a line and they all go at once. So the Grucci's actually don't want thing to uh, to fire off and have gaps in it. So if it's either all or nothing, all or nothing in this all case. Right, that's <clears throat> now in the series circuit, we have some kind of a source. Uh, in this case, we'll have a uh, 24 volt battery DC. And in a series circuit. I'm going to draw it kind of like the electric matches. They would be little resistors. And they would be wired in series. That basically means in order to put one in, I've got to cut the wire and wire the electric match into it. So the electricity has no other place to go. Now, just so it looks kind of like the wires you're seeing, the wire would come back around, and then it would be connected, but electrically it would look just like this. And it would be connected to the uh, positive side and the negative side. And when that connection is made, each one of these will fire. Now if these were light bulbs, we'd encase them in glass and they would glow without burning. Basically what these are in fireworks are light bulbs, the filaments, without the glass. As a matter of fact, there's a a flammable material that's located on the filaments so that when you put electricity through them they actually pop with a great deal of heat and that ignites the fireworks. Now in this circuit the voltage well in any circuit will be equal to the current times the resistance. In this case we have three resistors that are all the same so we could say that the voltage was equal to the current times 3R and so each one of these would drop a third of the total voltage. And in this case, if we started with 24 and we only had three matches, each one of them would drop 8 volts. And that would work. And uh, we're going to wire up the whole thing just like this in series. So for this particular thing, we start with a source, a hit number, and then we go to the first, and then the second, and then the third, and we actually wire six in each series. So there's six strobes in series. Calculate how many volts each will get from the total source of 24 volts. Let's see if this works. <laughs> 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 